Now then, people, it's Joe, it's all Leeds TV, and it is time for your Leeds versus West Ham post-match chat. Uh, Leeds lost the game, as you will all know, 2-1, as you can see there, to West Ham at Ellen Road. Uh, one win in six now for Leeds United. Is it time to panic? A lot of fans seem to think so. Not me. We'll be fine. There are a lot worse teams than us in this division. Of course, emotions are running high. We haven't been great the last two. But if you look at the two before that, Arsenal, Everton, we were we were decent. We were great, in my opinion. Yes, Chelsea, chalk that off, top side. Tonight, however, was pretty woeful. I'm not going to hide from that fact. I get it. You know, the one, I said it after Chelsea, and I'll say it again, and I've been saying it all week, set pieces. Set pieces are absolutely shocking, both taking and defending, both attacking and and defending. Um, not great. Something needs to be done about them. If it's a change of system, I've heard um, instead of the man marking, maybe we go zonal and say, right, that's your area. If the ball comes into that area, you head that ball out. Because us trying to defend set pieces, we're not great at them anyway. But when you're coming up against a, a West Ham side that has Ogbonna, that has Suchek, that has Haller, you know, that has um, Balbuena, you know, Giants, as it were, Declan Rice, you know, we're always going to struggle. And that's the frustrating thing to me. Yes, we've been carved open a few times. And yes, Melier's got us out of jail. And yes, Fornell should score. Yes, probably Ben Rama and, and, and Bowen could do better with the efforts. There was chances where they could have scored from open play. But the fact is, they didn't. So it's resulted in us losing a game from set pieces. Do I think we deserve the goal? Probably not. We were lucky to even get one, if we're being totally honest. Um, because other than that, I can't really remember a chance apart from the 91st minute where Rodrigo should do better. Let's talk about Rodrigo. Let's talk about Rafinha. Let's talk about Click. I was expecting so much from them. So, so much. I think me and every Leeds fan was when we seen that they were starting the game. But there's no one really who, who stands out for me who's had a great performance tonight. I thought Luke Aylin was decent. I think a lot of people might disagree, but I thought he was decent. I thought he did really well coming out. But listen, off the ball, West Ham were brilliant. They were. If you look, it, it had shades to me of when I remember when we played at Wigan and Wigan, I think it was Josh Windass goes on the attack and all you see is a flood of white shirts coming back to defend. Yeah. Now, when the odd attack we did have, especially in that second half, you would have Rodrigo, you might have Roberts or whoever it was, and there was just a, a sea of black shirts, of black West Ham shirts around them. And it wasn't because they was having to run back like we did in that Wigan game. It's just that they were that good defensively and the shape was that good and they were that great off the ball that it was rock hard for us to break them down. And I worry about that Newcastle game as well. You know, I remember saying weeks ago in, in these difficult games that we had Arsenal, Everton, Chelsea, and then we've got obviously Man United on Sunday. These were the two that I was worried about just due to the fact how they would set up. It's teams that we struggle against. Um, there's been no joy from the wings, whether or not that's an opposition tactic to overload on the wings when we're there. Presses high on the wings, meaning that we lose the ball and the turnovers happen and they can get us in transition. Ben Rama was class tonight. We all know about Ben Rama. I thought he was fantastic for tonight for them. Um, question marks over us defensively as per. We're going to get that with Bielsa, with the style of play. They are going to create chances. Set pieces are shocking. We know that. We need to do something about it. It seems to me like we have no dead ball takers as well. Just from an attacking standpoint, I remember Calvin in the championship took some decent corners. Then Calvin was put on them forever. I don't think he's the best dead ball specialist, just my opinion. Then we've seen recently Click was put on him, and Click takes them all from the right, from the left, from far, from dead, you know, uh, from outside the box. And then on the flip side, and now we've seen Rafinha's taking all the set pieces. It's like Bielsa sees something in training and then goes, right, you just take them all now. <laughs> That's what it is. I don't think there's a real 
I on set pieces, but Biel's has come out and said, listen, we've had this problem before, we've worked it out before. I genuinely thought maybe Bielsa doesn't even look at him. We spoke to uh, John from All Stats at Lee on Monday and he said he knows a guy, an American coach that came over and did some tra or, 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 or observed Bielsa's training and they did do a lot of work on set pieces, so it is being worked on, but I think they should maybe switch the system up and go to a more zonal-based corner defending tactic. I think that's what I mean. Um, but listen, there's no need for knee-jerk reactions. Obviously, if you've watched the watch along, me and Jack were having a debate, but this is what football's about. Football's about opinions. Everyone's entitled to them. I try to remain positive. Yes, there aren't a lot, if any, positives to take from tonight's game. I thought Melier was class. Maybe he could do better with the first, as has been said on social media, as has been said by people watching the game. But for me, he kept us in it. It could have been more. You know, it could have been more. Substitutions, Jamie Shack came on, came on at right back. Dallas moves to left back. I thought Jamie Shackleton was pretty bright when he did come on um, for a 20-minute spell. Then it faded. We started, yeah, and it just faded. And West Ham grew uh, and grew into the game. And I think you have to throw a lot of credit to West Ham and David Moyes' way, you know, the ship. And they've had a great start to the season. The fifth in the division, you know. That's no mean feat. Um, Costa came on. Did nothing. Gave away silly fouls. That's another thing. You know, if you're going to con concede set pieces, don't do it from silly challenges. You know, reckless, silly challenges. You know, uh, oh, Bonner, it was a good header, but it was unchallenged, weren't it? Suchek, good header, unchallenged. Um, we just wrote woeful at them. Um, it was glaring for me in that Crystal Palace game where I think it's Scott Dan gets it in the centre of both our centre-backs and wins the header and scores. Um, and look, you can be, for me, your centre-halves should be, you know, winning everything. That's what we've seen. I think the last time we had it was Bartley and Janssen winning everything, also scoring at the other end. That's what I expect from a centre-back. We don't have that at Leeds United, you know, we don't have that. That's what you want, though, when you one of them centre-backs, bam, everything's out. When you get a corner, yeah, he's going to be on the end of it, possibly score a goal. Don't get that from ours. And when Scott Dan is beating our two centre-backs, you're like, mm, this question marks there. And it's just got progressively worse. We we knew that anyway. We've never been great at set pieces under Bielsa. Um, but it is what it is. Something has to be done to change it, though, because know that sides will just pop it in that box every single time. You're coming up against top opposition, they're going to get a lot of corners, we can't defend them. You come up against the likes of Burnley, West Ham, Newcastle, every opportunity from open play, they're going to pop it in the box. They're going to win silly fouls, pop it in the box. You know, so you, you're you screwed either way. If you're playing someone who's who's really attacking, fast-flowing, they're going to get a lot of corners because they're attacking you a lot. And if you're playing someone who prefers to do it that way, that's just their style, you know. So regardless of who we come up against, we're always going to concede corners. So we're always... You know, it's like a penalty. I said last time, it's like a penalty. Hiding yourself, oh God, you know, it's a, it's a set piece. Um, Yeah. I mean, look, me and Oscar were chatting about it on the stream. If Antonio starts that game, they probably hammer us. <laughs> they probably hammer us. Because I didn't think much of Haller, if I'm being totally honest. He was a nuisance, but I think with the ball at his feet, he was absolutely shocking. Um, But like I said earlier, I was, I was so excited for Raf. Rodrigo and click, and it just didn't work, did it? The too many passengers. Um, the substitutions didn't work. Tyler Roberts is not the answer. Tyler Roberts is not the answer. I'm sorry. Even when he did have the ball in the opposition box at one time, tried too much, dropping the shoulder like he does too many turns, like Harrison used to do in his first season. He's always guilty of that. He's not the answer. I'm sorry. I'm I'm still yet to be convinced. You might feel I'm being harsh, but he came on in his favourite position. I know we've got to get the ball to him, but he didn't really do it. Substitutions didn't work. Should we have seen Pablo? Because he'd have picked up the ball and tried to create and maybe move Rodrigo into Bamford's position. Maybe. Um, feels to me there's something underlying with the Pablo thing, and it'd be so disappointing if if it ends that way. Um, Fornell's got to score as well. They could have... They, listen, they could have... Um, had a couple. I mean, Melier makes an absolute wonder save, I think, from another set piece and KP had to have an overhead kick to send it out. Um, I thought Melier probably is the only positive we can take. Um, Rodrigo obviously has the chance as well, but I thought he was pretty quiet tonight. I thought they all were pretty woeful, wasn't it? Let's be honest. But positives, 
We've got a game on Wednesday. Quick turnaround. Leeds get back to winning ways because we have to. So it's only one win in six. Great performances against Arsenal, Everton, etc. First half against Chelsea. Doesn't count for nothing unless you get points on the board. And that's what we need. So that's what we have to do next time out against Newcastle. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please like the video, share and subscribe. Uh, and we'll see you early in the morning for your player ratings. That's going to be fun. <laughs> Peace out. Love you. Leeds, leeds, leeds.